Hi everyone, I'm Tom Letty and I'm an Architect Evangelist at Salesforce. This video is part of our Getting Started with Salesforce Diagrams video series. And today, we're going to convert the diagram from our Diagram Anti-Patterns video into a Level 3 Documentation and Implementation Diagram that shows the specific interactions between two systems in one process. Let's go ahead and get started. If you saw the last couple videos in this series, you know that we started out with a System Landscape Diagram, which was a Level 1. Then we zoomed in a little bit and created a level 2 diagram that showed a solution architecture. And now we're going to zoom in even further. Level 3 diagrams have even more granularity than level 2. You'd use this type of diagram to show a limited view of components in a solution, but with more complex details. And just like how a level 1 diagram can have multiple level 2s, a level 2 diagram can have multiple level 3s. And the audience for this type of diagram is going to be technical stakeholders and delivery teams who need a thorough understanding of how two components might interact with each other as part of a solution. Okay, here we are in Lucidchart. Now, we're going to start the same way we have in the past, which is by removing all the systems that aren't relevant for this diagram. And you notice in this case, that's almost everything. And that's because we're zooming in so far with this level 3 diagram that we're only going to focus on these two systems and the way that they interact with each other in this very specific scenario. So we're going to add our header and we'll add the cards for our systems, just like we always do. And you can find information about this in some of our other videos, so we're going to kind of skip over it here. But I do want to talk about connectors. In our level one diagram, we used a single connector to just to show that there was a relationship between our two systems. In our level 2 diagram, we used the single connector again, but this time we added some additional details about the connection itself. Now, in our level 3 diagram, we're using multiple connectors to show detailed information about what's specifically flowing back and forth between the two systems and at what times. And that's a level 3 documentation and implementation diagram. In our next video, we're going to create a level 4 diagram, which is going to be a data model. So stay tuned for that one, and make sure to like and subscribe if you found this content to be helpful. We've got a lot of other great videos in this series, and you're not going to want to miss any of them. Looking forward to seeing you next time.